Hello guys, good afternoon, welcome back to my YouTube channel, this is your host again, Mr. Santos Capilian Jr. Okay, now guys, uh, I have just finished my three tutorials for air differential pressure switch, okay? So let me show you again, and one differential pressure switch, okay? Now this is a differential air pressure switch. I hope I had explained clearly what is the purpose of air differential pressure switch. Okay, let me check if I can make it a little bit. Okay, now, this time, what I have here is a DPT. The previous one is DPS. This one is DPT, differential pressure transmitter. Okay, now this is TAC system okay so just like a differential pressure switch there are two probes the plus and the minus okay so you need another maybe you need to use uh, the plastic tubing if you are going to use it with air medium okay i think this is for air okay so likewise there will be two probes plus and minus okay uh, high pressure and less pressure okay now let's try to open this and let's see what are the terminals inside okay now as you can see here uh, there are three terminals here okay so this one is three two one okay now based on this one Okay, based on here, so two, it says here, okay, let me read it for you, zero to ten volts, okay, so zero to ten volts, then one is the 24 volts AC, then three, obviously this will be the uh, common, okay, so the first thing that you need to know here is what is the range of this differential, pressure transmitter okay so we will check if we can find some details here okay as you can see there so there are some information here it says here dpt 20 but this time it's showing 50 millibars okay so 50 millibars meaning that is the differential pressure range okay so another thing that you need to know here if you're the BMS engineer or you're the BMS technician or the foreman or the supervisor what are the things you need to provide in this before this one will try to give you the differential pressure for the equipment that you are trying to monitor okay so differential pressure transmitter you will need to provide power supply here as you can see here in terminal 1, it says here 25, 24 volts AC. So meaning your 24 volts AC uh, cable or wire will go here. Okay. Then the common will go to 3. Okay. So differential pressure transmitter, it will transmit the differential pressure or it will give you the reading the differential pressure reading across let's say across the fan okay so this one this device will give you a control output or a control signal output so meaning in terminal 2 it will give you a 0 to 10 volt signal based on the differential pressures being sensed by this device okay so you have 3 to 1 so you can pull four core cable here so one cable will be the 24 volts or one wire will be the 24 volts usually it should be red then one uh, wire will go to two and one wire will go to three now the common because uh, for the for the power supply 24 volts uh, that will be two wire uh, if it's color coded it will be black and red so black is common it will go here okay then the red which is the 24 volts will go here so zero volts then 24 volts then the control signal 
that this one will going to give us will be here. So you need also two cable there or two wire, two core cable. Okay. So the signal will be from this terminal to then you can share the common. Okay, you, you can share the common here. So meaning in terminal 3, you will be connecting two black cable or two common cable. One from the power supply and one going to your uh, DDC analog input. So meaning analog input, the symbol there will be signal and ground or common. So you need two core cable here, signal then common. Then power supply, you need to provide 24 volts, then 0 volts, okay? Then this one will give you the exact uh, differential pressure being sent across a fan, okay? So how are you going to install this in the uh, equipment? Let's say you are mon trying to monitor uh, the differential pressure across a fan. So how are you going to install this one actually the installation is similar to the air differential pressure switch but anyway i will show you how are you going to install this one but what is important here is how are you going to provide the power supply and how are you going to get the reading actually the control output of this is 0 to 10 volts so meaning if it will give you 0 volts Output signal meaning it is not sensing any differential pressure across the fan. So zero meaning uh, maybe the fan is off. But if it will give you 10 volts DC, actually this is DC. 10 volts, if this one is giving you 10 volts DC, then meaning it's sensing the maximum range which is 50 millibar or 5000 pascal. Okay? So, that is the most important thing that you have to know when are you going to uh, use or when you are going to use a differential pressure transmitter. Okay, so let me show you the drawing that I had prepared. Just give me a minute. Okay, guys. So, what I have here in my whiteboard is the guide on how you are going to install the differential pressure transmitter guys so this is our dpt okay likewise the positive probe should go to the discharge side of the fan then the negative probe should go to the suction side of the fan okay then provide the necessary cable to provide power supply and to get the control signal that will be produced by this uh, differential pressure transmitter okay so this is how you are going to install the differential pressure transmitter across the fan if you want to know exactly what is the differential pressure across the fan okay now the range is 0 to 50 millibar now 50 millibar is equal equivalent to 5000 pascal okay now the power supply is 24 volts ac okay then the control signal is 0 to 10 volt DC. Okay? So this is the uh, signal that will come out of this uh, DPT sensor. Okay, guys? So that is how you are going to install the differential pressure transmitter. Okay? So what I have this one. Okay? So as you can see, the probe Okay, uh, maybe, yeah. Okay, sorry, it's not very clear. Okay, so this is the two probes, plus and minus. Okay, so again, you will be using uh, plastic tubing to connect the port. Okay, so the positive and the negative port, you need to use this plastic tubing. Okay, sometimes you can use also here a copper tube. Okay. If you want to be more uh, sturdy, okay, because plastic, it it will be easy to crack or kink the plas the plastic. But if it is a copper tube, then it will be very sturdy, okay. So again, guys, 
We already have an idea how are you going to install a differential pressure transmitter, air differential pressure transmitter, okay? So once again, thank you for watching this short video clip. And I do hope uh, this tutorial will help new engineers and any technical course graduates who are wishing to join building management system. Before I will end this, uh, God bless us all. Let's all be safe and bye for now.